banging on the gate, banging on the gate, let me in, let me in. And we're just like, mm. Hi people, if you hear like, scritz, 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 scritz. That's our cat. Um, Your cat. My cat in the litter box right now. He's in the litter box. It's outside, but for some reason we can't hear it. And, and Livy's joining us today. Say hi, Livy. Say hi. Look, Liv. Look. Liv, look. Yay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so Liv's here for the story time that we're going to tell. We're going to tell you guys about the story time when our guardian this is a whole series. It's a whole series because guess what? We were with this lady for how long? Two years. So a lot happened in that two years. So what we're going to do is tell you a little bit of everything that happened because it's a lot to deal with. No, of course we're going to change your name and yeah. everything because we don't want to hurt anybody's reputation or mm -hmm. get anybody in trouble or yeah you can get in trouble or so. and if you knew us at this time and you have any idea or you went to high school with, with us, us if you, you were friends in high school you probably know and everything if, we're gonna if tell you, you know who we're talking about and you have any contact with her do don't not contact, contact her. her do not harass her this has happened a long time ago it was in the past we're just gonna tell you guys about it so there's no need for you guys to Go and search for this lady. And don't put in the comments and say our name, please. Like, it's not necessary. Like, this is so long ago. We're, we're over it. it. Jinx. So, yeah, right? We're over it, Libby. So, we don't need to... We don't need any arguments. But this happened during our last, our last few weeks of high school. Mm -hmm. And this, we were living with her for a while, but this is one instance with her we're gonna tell you a lot more but this is one instance with her close to the end where she took us to the police, police station. station okay so how did it start okay so it started when there was a lot of stuff happening and it was escalating right um some stuff having to do with money and the way we were being treated and it was just a, we'll tell you guys we'll about that you. in another story time but all of it was coming to the point where it was so much. it was reaching the boiling point yeah everyone was cracking like we were over it everyone mm. was over it. everyone in that situation was over it and we'll call this lady pam mm. pam pam nice name so we're living with pam and it was good in the beginning as everything always is and then it went it turned into a shit show so, so close to our graduation um we we were going to graduation practice you know we have graduation practice and would have it every other day or so. Meanwhile, we were having graduation practice. Our friends knew and everything that something was going on with our guardian and we were having troubles and whatnot. So one night, I think the night before graduation, graduation, if I'm not mistaken, we just got fed up. We got so fed up. And here's the thing, mommy and Pam had a mutual friend. Mm -hmm. and, and in the beginning, the friend was all on Pam's side. And thought that we, we were, were being, exaggerating. And we were being teenagers. We were being disrespectful. But no. Eventually she got on our side. Because she realized what was happening. So the mutual friend. Let's call her Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Gave us the idea. To just lock, lock her out. Let's change the locks. <laughs> so on the house. So she can't come back in. Because she would always be out. Randomly and, and, and she then leave us she's in the house. To take care of us. And you know? she leave us in the house for all of the time. We need help getting um, ready for graduation because our mommy was living here in America, um, and our sister, our sister was, was living in Ochi. So we needed help from our guardian. She's getting paid to take care of us, right? She's getting paid to take care of us, and she's not taking care of us. So we lock mm -hmm. her out the house. <laughs> so we changed. The, she brought over the padlocks, and we locked her out the house. Yeah. So. She came back from wherever she was because she always used to disappear yeah. and leave us in the house for hours on end. And days sometimes. Days sometimes. She, and then randomly come back like nothing's happening. So. And nothing happened. She came back. She saw that the, the gate was locked and she's banging on the gate, banging on the gate. Let me in, let me in. You're so effing, oh no, so effing disrespectful. Oh no, effing Not even my kids talk to me like this. the way you guys talk to me and treat me the way you guys treat me. And we're just like, mm. And I know it seemed disrespectful, guys, 
But we're gonna tell you the story we're not leading up to this. People in our neighborhood didn't even know we were home because we kept to ourselves. Cells. Like, people in the neighborhood knew us as, as like respectful young ladies. Like, we. Not to toot our own horn, horn but we but were goody two shoes basically all yes, of high school. Yes. Like, I wasn't even into boy. I didn't have my first kiss until I graduated high school, went into to, to college. So, like, I was a goody two shoe. Kept to myself. So, so we locked her out. She's banging, she's cursing us out. And she went to get a rock to hit no, up. No, it wasn't a rock. She went a next door neighbor because she became friends with our next door neighbor and she uh, got a hammer. Oh, she got the hammer. hammer. She got a hammer from next door because she made friends with the neighbors from next door. I don't know if mm -hmm. she was talking crap about us to them or what the case may be. But, but she, she made friends. Oh, we would always. She, no, she would talk crap about us to the next door neighbors. Yeah. Anyway, that's besides the point. The next door neighbor. That neighbor. one neighbor. Anyway, so she borrowed a hammer from the neighbor. And, sorry. And she started hammering away at the padlock. Meanwhile, Chrissy and I are just standing, standing there, there like looking this. at her. Along with the mutual friend, Elizabeth. And we're just like, Pam, you're not getting in. We're, we're not, not going to let you in. She's like, let me in. Blah, blah, blah. Nobody here, my no, but here. I'm kidding. Yeah, whatever. We're supposed to let her in. We're supposed. We're like, no, we don't have to let you in. It's our house. It's we're our like, house. It's our house. I, it's our house. It's our house. We're we're so we're being so rude. But listen, it, it's it was. You um, get tired of it at some certain points. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so meanwhile she was hitting it. I don't know what she did, but it hit the it hit the gate and, and it ricocheted, ricocheted back and hit her tooth and she broke her tooth with and the then she's like oh this is you guys fault i'm taking you guys to the police station so we're like okay, okay let's, fine, go. let's go let's go to the police station so we're there now we live very close to the police station we could walk if everybody know gregor park we know gregor park police station close to hamilton gardens which probably used to live you can walk you can to walk the to the station. police station so we we'll walk, follow behind this lady now, and she's, and she's being so low. low. She's, she's cursing, cursing us the entire time walking to the police station. We're walking station. behind her. She's like, "These disrespectful oh, kids, these blah, 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 blah. And she's she talk about business while walking onto the police station. So everybody will look at us like, and some people are following follow uh, to the police station because they want to see what going. They want to see why the lady will take us little kids. 16 year olds to the police station. Anyway, so we got to the police station now and she's trying to make an argument to the officer that was there. And the officer was just like, you're not a big man. Like, why, why you that bring pick me? Got a police station because you want hammer off the padlock. Of and a feed them hoes. Feed them hoes and you bust up your mouth. How that make no sense? The policeman just said, look here lady, go your yard and leave yep. the people them pick me alone. Exactly. Exactly. Anyways, would you ever see her after that? No. No! Mm -hmm. I did. Okay, did? so but when, after the graduation, if you guys didn't know, we moved graduation night in our cap and gown to Ochi. To um St. Mary, but near Ochi. We call it Ochi. So we moved in our cap and gown to Ochi that same night. And the night we were leaving, we saw her and she was like, congrats or something about high school. She's like, um... Like congrats or really? Yeah, we you see her because she could come to pick up something, and she's like congrats. And as the last, we said thank you, and the last yes. thing we said to her, it was so that. liberating to me. It was so, but the thing is, it was so. All right, you ever see those movies where kids are trapped, and then them finally free? Like flowers in the freaking like attic. Like flowers in the attic. That's how it feel. That's how like it feels. Like when you're leaving, oh, when you're leaving a, a really, really bad situation, situation, you just feel like a breath of fresh air. And when we tell you guys the story and you understand why we, it's like it one was of those, like that. We're just gonna bring it up like one of those movies like you see the ending, you're like, wait, why what? that even happened? Why were you guys brought to the police station? We're gonna let you guys know in another story time. We're gonna name this series. We don't know what we're gonna name it, but it's multiple stories and multiple situations that happen with this and lady. We're with actually Anna. contemplating on if we should have made this um, story time or not because, I mean, it's a lot. And what happened is it's a lot to handle for two 16 year olds. You Come know on. what I mean? Maybe. It was a lot. So we're contemplating whether um, we should make it or not, not because a lot of people are involved. 
But we're just gonna change some names and you know what? Speak our peace because we were in high school and half our friends and they already know any names. Yeah. Because it would be Livy, a oh. normal topic. Oh, Levy. <laughs> it would be a normal topic at our high school um, lunch time and whatever. So we just decided to do it anyways. Mm -hmm. um, if we hurt anybody's feeling in the process, we're sorry. It's not to hurt anybody's feeling. It's just. And we'll, I will explain everything better to you guys as the series go along and you'll see why we did what we did and why we were, it seemed like we were rude, but we really weren't. We, it had, was, our, we had enough. Yeah. But yeah. Anyway, So we guys. look forward, if you guys want to hear the story, give this thumbs up and let, let us know what you think. If you want to hear the beginning of the story and how we ended up being brought to the, the police, police station, station by our guardian. Anyways, we love you guys. <laughs> What's up, Liv? She's over it. <laughs> She's ready to go home. Say bye, Libby. Bye. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. bye. Say yes. bye. Yay. Not to me. Yay. Anyways, we love you guys. We love you guys. And, and we we'll can't see you in the, see next, the video. next video. Mwah. Mwah. Libby. Mwah. Bye, people. Bye. bye. Say bye. 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 <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> Bouncing baby girl!